Mas gandang araw sa ating mga masisipag na mag-aaral. Sa unang video ng permutation versus combination ay ating napag-usapan ang mga gawain or sitwasyon na nagpapakita ng permutation. Halimbawa nito ay pag-enter ng password, number lock or telephone number na nangangailangan ng correct order ng digits or letters. Ang permutation ay nagbibigay halaga sa arrangement or order ng objects. Samantala, ang combination ay pagpili ng objects mula sa isang set. Halimbawa, pagpili ng flavor sa sorbetes. Ang pinagsamang keso, ube at tsokolate ay parehong lasa ng ube, tsokolate at keso. Isa pa ay pagbuo ng grupo na may isang gampanin o halaga. Halimbawa, ang grupo ng mga mananayaw na sina Ana, Karen, Nina at Karen, Nina, Ana ay tumutukoy lang sa isang grupo ng mananayaw. Hindi rin nangangahulugan na sa unang listahan si Nina ay magaling, si Karen ay mas magaling at si Ana ang pinakamagaling na mananayaw. Dahil sa combination, the order or position of the objects doesn't matter. Ngayon naman ay gagamit tayo ng formulas para sagutan ang permutation at combination word problems. Under permutation letter A, the permutation of n objects taken r at a time is given by the formula P which means permutation. Permutation of n taken r is equal to n factorial over the quantity of n minus r factorial. Halimbawa, arranging two books out of seven books in a shelf. So, tandaan na ang total number of objects, which is n, must be equal or greater than r. Ngayon, para malaman lahat ng possible arrangements, ito yung gagamitin nating formula. Letter B, the permutation of n objects taken all at a time. So, ang n natin ay equal sa r, kaya taken all. So, ang formula natin, Permutation of n taken n or taken all is equal to n factorial. Halimbawa, arranging all 7 books in a shelf. So, para makuha lahat ng possible arrangements, gamitin natin yung formula na n factorial where n is 7 books. So, yan ay equal sa 7 factorial or 5,040 arrangements. Pumunta naman tayo sa combination, letter A. The combination of n objects taken r at a time is given by the formula. Combination of n taken r is equal to n factorial over the quantity of n minus r factorial times r factorial. Example, picking 5 playing cards from a deck of cards. Ang isang deck ng card ay mayroong 52 playing cards. Para malaman kung ilang sets of 5 cards ang mabubuo, ito ang kailangan nating formula. Letter B, the combination of n objects taken all at a time is given by combination of n taken n or taken all is equal to 1. Halimbawa, Picking all the 52 cards. So, yun ay katumbas ng isang deck of card. Remember, ang combination of n objects taken all ay laging equivalent sa 1. Example number 1. How many two letters can be formed using the letters J, O, and Y if letter A? Order of the letters is important. B. Order of the letters is not important. Sa letter A, if the order of the objects is important, then that falls under permutation. Based tree diagram, ito yung list ng two letters mula sa letters na J, O, at Y. So, J, O, J, Y, O, J, O, Y, Y, J, at Y, O. So, a total of 6. I-check natin ang sagot gamit ang formula na permutation of n taken r is equal to n factorial over the quantity of n minus r 
factorial. So, permutation of n is the total number of the letters 1, 2, 3 taken 2 letters. So, equal to again, ang n natin ay 3 factorial over the quantity of n is 3 minus r is 2 factorial. 3 factorial is equivalent to 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 minus 2 is 1 factorial. But 1 factorial is equivalent to 1. Then, 3 times 2 times 1 is 6 over 1 is still 6. Next, for letter B, if the order of the letters is not important, then that is combination. Base list, J-O is the same as O-J because J-O contains the same letters as O-J. Ganun din sa J-Y at Y-J, equivalent sa 1, as well as O-Y and Y-O. Therefore, there are 1, 2, 3 combinations. Ngayon, gamitin natin yung formula na combination of n taken r is equal to n factorial over the quantity of n minus r factorial times r factorial para ma-justify yung sagot na 3. So, combination of n is 3 letters taken r which is 2 is equal to, ang n natin ay 3 factorial over the quantity of n which is 3 minus r is 2 factorial times r is 2 factorial. Then, expand yung 3 factorial. So, yan ay 3 times 2 factorial. Nag-end ako sa 2 factorial dahil meron tayong denominator na 2 factorial. Later on, pwede siyang i-cancel. Over, 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 factorial is 1 pa rin. Times 2 factorial. 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial is 1. So, cancel. Ang matitira ay 3 divided by 1 which is 3. In comparison, dahil sa permutation, the order matters, then the number of arrangements is greater than the number of combination. Kasi, sa permutation, bawat arrangement may bilang. While sa combination, groups of the same objects considered as one. Permutation example number two. In how many ways can a president, vice president, secretary, and a treasurer be selected from the 12 board of directors. Una, identify muna natin ang value ng N at R. N is the total number of objects or total number of people. So, yan ay 12. Ang R naman ay number of people to occupy the position for president, vice president, secretary, and a treasurer. So, yan ay 4. Next, substitute natin sa formula. So, permutation of n is 12 taken 4 is equal to 12 factorial over the quantity of 12 minus 4 factorial. Expand natin yung 12 factorial down to 8 factorial since 12 minus 4 ay 8 factorial yung denominator. So, 12 times 11, times 10, times 9, times 8 factorial, over 12 minus 4 is 8 factorial. 8 factorial divided by 8 factorial is 1, so cancel. Last, get the product of 12 times 11 times 10 times 9, which is equal to 11,000 880. So, there are 11,880 ways to select 
President, Vice President, Secretary, and a Treasurer from 12 members of the Board of Directors. Para ma-check ang sagot, pwede tayong gumamit ng calculator. Hanapin lang ang symbol na NPR or permutation of N taken or as a second function. So una, i-enter natin ang value ng N which is 12. So 12, then second function, permutation, the next enter yung R which is 4. 4, then equal sign. Yan, so ang lalabas ay 11,880. So ang sagot natin ay tama. Combination problem number 2. In how many ways can a committee of 4 senators be selected from a group of 12 senators? Identify natin yung given. N is the total number of senators. So we have 12. And R, ilan yung kukunin natin senators? We need 4 senators to form a committee. Sunod naman, substitute natin yung given sa formula. So combination of 12 taken 4 is equal to 12 factorial over the quantity of 12 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. Simplify natin yung 12 factorial down to 8 factorial. So yan ay 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 factorial over 12 minus 4 is 8 factorial times, expand natin yung 4 factorial. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 8 factorial divided by 8 factorial ay 1. So, cancel. 4 times 3 ay 12. So, cancel yung 4 times 3, then yung 12 sa taas. Ang matitira sa denominator ay 2 times 1 which is equal to 2. A number divisible by 2 is 10. So, 10 divided by 2, cancel, yan ay equal sa 5. Repeat, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then last, multiply 11, 5, and 9. That is equivalent to 495. Kung mapapansin nyo, pareho ng given, pero magkaiba ng sagot dahil magkaiba ng category. Yung unang problem ay permutation dahil specific ang position. President, Vice President, Secretary, at Treasurer. Sa combination naman, all four senators are members of the committee. So, meron silang equal responsibility, walang nakalalamang, walang nakatataas. Para naman ma-check ang sagot sa combination, gamitin natin ang symbol na NCR or combination of N taken R. So, katulad lang sa permutation, una enter natin ang value ng N which is 12. 12, then press the symbol NCR, then enter R which is 4. Next, press equal sign. So, yan ay equal sa 495, pareho ng sagot natin. Permutation example number 3. In how many ways can 5 students arrange themselves in a row for picture taking? So, number 3, all students will be arranged in a row. Ibig sabihin, N is equal to R. Or in permutation, that is permutation of N taken all or taken n which is equal to n factorial ang value ng n natin ay 5 since there are 5 students therefore permutation of 5 taken 5 is equal to 5 factorial and 5 factorial means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 120. So, kung meron kayong circle of friends with 5 members, then may 120 ways to change position for a group fee. Next, for combination, example number 3, how many polygons can be drawn on a plane using 3 nonlinear points? 
Non-collinear points are points that do not lie on the same line. Halimbawa, points A, B, at C ay wala sa isang line. Kasi you can draw a polygon if they are collinear points. Sa so problem na to, N is equal to R, which is 3. So, combination of N taken all or taken N is equal to 1. Or, combination of 3 taken 3 is equal to 1. Ano yung polygon na pwede ma-draw out of 3 points? Ito ay? Okay, triangle. One polygon can be drawn out of three non-collinear points and that is a triangle.